Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. This is episode 138, I think, if I wrote my notes down right. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm recording this Sunday, but it's coming out Monday because I'm not going to have time to record tomorrow, I don't think. I might, I don't know, who knows. We'll see. <laughs> Anyways, I want to go ahead and get this done while I was uh, already recording another video. But yeah, so I got some finished objects to share with you guys today and some whips and some Happy Mail. And I think that's all. <laughs> I'm in the floor today because I didn't bring my other chair in here to set my laptop on. So, uh, yeah, I'm just in the floor today. But, yeah. So, my first finished objects are uh, some amigurumis that you've already seen if you watch my national holiday videos. <laughs> uh, and it's two little whales. So, here's the first one. So cute. This one is just called Amigurumi Whale. <laughs> and uh, it is a free PDF download on Ravelry, but it doesn't have these... Uh, these fins. I added these myself. But it's just a cute little whale. Really easy to make. It's made in two pieces. The bottom is a separate piece from the top, but this fin is crocheted onto the top. And I use scrap yarn. Uh, this is like a coral color. And then white. I think that's arctic white, actually. But, uh, yeah. So there's my first little whale. My second little whale is called, I think, Wally Whale. Wally the Whale. And here he is. He's a little bit bigger. <laughs> there's the little one. And he's made in, uh, one whole piece you just change colors and his uh well no his tail's separate piece. his little fins are crocheted on and then the tail is a separate piece but these little fins are crocheted onto it and this is like delta blue and white red heart scraps also so there's my two little whales that i made for national whale day <laughs> so they're done i'm gonna be putting them in the etsy shop uh when i put some more bags up let's see here what's my next one okay my next finished object is well, the next two you would have seen yesterday if you watched my hashtag calendar crochet calendar fun video uh, from doing projects from this calendar. I did January and February, which are these two right here. And so my the January one, I decided to make a Halloween balloon <laughs> that I'm going to hang an amigurumi down from eventually to hang up somewhere. But again, it's all red heart. I think this is pumpkin. I can't remember. <laughs> black and white and I did make two of them and I crocheted them together and then I just added this little balloon tie thing <laughs> I don't know what that's called the end of the balloon and yeah so that's that that was really easy I followed the pattern I did accidentally I forgot to change the colors they're supposed to be like a, it should be white a little bit further down one more row on each side but I wasn't paying attention so I just did one row of white but that's okay so that's my first one the second one was the I think it's called like the Bovarian something square I can't remember um but yeah just made it Christmassy I just still got a weave in my hands and I used again red heart uh it's like hunter green I think white and hot red red hot one of those two <laughs> and I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this I'm gonna I made it for that collab so I'm gonna try to figure out between now and Christmas how to do something with it to make it a decoration all right so that's those two um uh, projects let's see here my last finished object is my square for the hashtag movie and stitch there's so many collabs going on right now um c movie which my c movie was candle shoe and this is my square thread really simple just white and red this is cherry red and this i think is uh pale yellow no this isn't pale yellow daffodil maybe i can't remember corn it's either daffodil or corn something <laughs> i can't remember but it's like a pale yellow i just made blooms. they're supposed to be blooms, and uh so that's my square very simple <laughs> square. so that's all my finished objects i do have a finished uh, object that's almost finished it's my new cardigan or my second cardigan um i just gotta do the trim around it like the button band trim and the hem trim so i'm gonna show you that so this is my whips I'm starting into my whips but it's almost done i got the whole the front and back panel done the sleeves done and so on so there it is. There's the sleeves. One sleeve and two sleeve. I really like it. It fits me. I've already tried it on and worn it a little bit around the house. I'm having issues. But yeah, so I did make the sleeves. Uh, I did take in the sleeves. Uh, what are these things called? Cuff. <laughs> um, the whole cardigan is made with a J hook? K hook. And, um, so my last one the yellow one i made the sun gold one um the sleeves are flared a little which is fine i still love it i still wear it all the time but i wanted it to be a little bit tighter so i went down to an h hook on the cuffs just the cuffs 
and I did the the five rolls I think of the cuff and then I went back to K to start the sleeve so I did do the, the rest of the sleeves in the K hook so and I like the way it fits and I know it'll get a little bit stretchy as I wear it <laughs> but uh, I'm okay with that so all I gotta do is I gotta do the um, the button band around the whole neck of it and then down at the bottom I gotta do the hem band <laughs> so that's it and that's all all of it is just like this it'll be five or six rows i think of uh front post and back post double crochet intermediately done <laughs> so yeah i'm getting there so i do have uh this much of the cake that i'm going to use but first i got a little ball in here that i had to take out at some point when one ball ended the other ball would have been red also and i didn't want a huge block of red so i did take off that part but i'm going to use it on the button band and uh yeah, I can use it here because then it goes into green. So, uh, I'll put this on there and then I'll use this cake. And if I run out, I got two more cakes, so I'm good. There's one, um, right here. And then I got one in my project bag also right here. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I might work on that today. I gotta do some stuff and I want to, um, get this done because it's almost done. I want to finish it. <laughs> I still have to make my mom one, but she hasn't bought me the yarn for yet. Uh, she, I think she's planning on doing that this next week, uh, when she gets her check. But yeah, so that'll, whoops, that'll be, um, fun. She wants a green one. So that's one of my whips. It's almost done though. My second whip is just my, um, new scrap blanket that I started. I showed it in my Watch It Working on Wednesday video last week. And I haven't worked on it since then. <laughs> so if you watch that video, it looks exactly the same. It's, right now it's just pink. It is Red Heart, um, what is that called? I can't remember if it's bright pink or shocking pink. Because shocking pink used to be a dark color, like right here can't remember what this one's called. I got another ball in there, but I don't want to dig it out. <laughs> and there's also um, Red Heart Charcoal Held Double. I ran out of the, the bright pink, so I need, I need to get another light color to hold with the charcoal until it runs out. And uh, keep on going. So I'm making this with, I think, a K-hook. Yeah, a K-hook. And it's just going to be double crochets back and forth until it's the size that I want it to be. <laughs> and that's just to use up my scrap balls. I don't know if you noticed, but I have de-stashed a lot of my yarn. <laughs> Um, I, I, I don't like clutter and I was realizing that I had a ton of yarn that I uh, is just sitting there. So I had some yarns that I used for my amigurumis. I had multiples of, I got rid of all of them except one because, um, uh, you know, if I run out of a hanky yarn, I can just buy another one and, um, not have to deal with storing them. I do still have my 64 cent yarn over there because I, I want to do Afghans with that. Um, so I have a lot of those, but, uh, and then I moved all, all the crazy yarn that was up here down. So that it's not um, toppling over. Because I wanted to put my sign up there that I bought. And uh, yeah. So there's that. But anyways, that's all my whips right now. Um, I got some amigurumis that I want to start working on soon. Jesse's sneezing. And um, put that muzzle there. I'm going to take pictures of them for the shop. And uh, yeah. I don't know what else I want to start. But I, I do have some amigurumis that I want to make. But anyways, I got some happy mail. So I wanted to share it with you. I can't remember if I shared this, but this is a postcard from Erica. It's got a, like a tulip on it. It's really pretty. So thank you, Erica. And then I got a card from Valerie at Valerie's Cuddly Cat Creations. Cuddly Cat Crochet. <laughs> so she sent me this. I actually have a card just like this I got from someone else. But I'm okay with having duplicates. But inside this card was a little crochet heart, which I love. It was very special, you know and always stuff like this always comes when I really need it so that's good so thank you Val and then for my friend Phyllis she sent me this book she found it I think at her Dollar Tree and she grabbed it because it was a dollar and uh, she asked me if I wanted it so I said yeah so it's got a lot of uh, like fairy tale crochet in it and I love the little dwarfs from Snow White and Seven Dwarfs so it's like yeah, yeah. so I'm going to be making stuff out of this there's some really cute I like the, um, the Hansel and Gretel the little witch that came with it. Right here. Ooh, I'm just gonna kind of show her. She's so cute. I'm probably gonna make her. <laughs> but that's what I got from her. Okay, sorry. Jesse wanted something. The last piece of Happy Mail I got was actually a package. I can't show you the package though because she sent fabric. She sent a ton. I don't even know how many. She told me about it. It's like 11 yards of yellow and about the same of red fabric. But I've already cut up. I already used all the yellow in the bags that's going to be coming up in the shop soon. And then um, the red, I've used some of it and the rest of it's right here. Right here. 
<laughs> and she also sent a garbage bag, but it was like compressed of batting, which is in my closet here with my other batting, my thicker batting. Uh, I just picked it up because it was in the floor and I didn't want to leave it in the floor. So I'll put it in there. So it's in there. But thank you so much. And she also sent a card. <laughs> so she sent this really cute Valentine's Day card. It's got like this uh, button thing. It's cool. I don't know what that is. But it opens. It's, you know, I've got a note in there. <laughs> but um, she, her name is Kelly and she wrote down her, um, I don't think she has a YouTube channel. Maybe she does. But uh, it's like her handle on YouTube. I think it's KO Crafts by Kelly. Is that what that says? I think that's what that says. I can't read good. <laughs> but it says such a cute card. It's got like a little window there. It's like a little, what are they called? Like a brad or something? It's really cute. A little actual like hard buttony heart. <laughs> so that's all I have in my leg I got this week. I do have a package at the post office, but Devin's been working, so I haven't been able to go pick it up. I know what it's from, who it's from, and uh, I roughly know what it is, <laughs> but uh, I just haven't been able to go grab it. It is at the post office, though, waiting for me. I'm pretty sure that's everything that I've gotten done. I did start a test pattern for someone, and I had issues with it, so I had to rip it out, and she sent me the redone uh, pattern, but I haven't had time to sit down and do it. <laughs> and I already, I already warned her uh, beforehand that uh, I probably wouldn't be a good tester for her right now because... I'm so busy, <laughs> super busy in like real life. And, uh, but she went ahead and sent it to me anyways. So I'm, I wanna try to sit down and work on it for her, but I was just so busy. <laughs> and um, yeah, I think that's it. I don't think I have anything else important to say. <laughs> uh, I am putting up some drawstring bags. I actually think by the time you see this video, no, cause this is coming out in the morning. It's, this is coming out Monday morning. Uh, I believe Monday, sometime Monday is when I'm putting out bags in the shop. I've decided to not announce my shop updates anymore because without fail, <laughs> when I announce bag updates, even though I tell people I don't want to pre-sell bags and I don't want to hold bags for people, if I announce bag updates, I always get people asking for me to pre-sell them or to hold them. And I don't want to do that because I don't think that's fair. It's not fair for everybody who wants to try to purchase a bag if I'm selling them before they go in the shop. And some people kind of got snarky with me about that. But at the end of the day, it's my shop and it's my bags and it's my time to make these bags. And I'm going to do what I want to do. And if you don't like that, then no one is making you buy my bags. There's plenty of other shops on Etsy that custom make bags. We'll make the uh, pockets the way you want them. We'll make the liners the way you want them. We'll make the handles the way you want them, the snaps. I'm not. <laughs> I make the bags I make and I put them in my shop. You can either buy them or not. And uh, I can't help if you have a problem with that. <laughs> That's not my fault. Um, I don't know what else to say. But I've decided that when I make bags now from now on, I'm just going to put them in the shop whenever I want to. You can buy them or you cannot buy them. And I'm not going to do custom order bags for anybody anymore. Because it's, it takes too much of my time to specifically make a certain bag for someone. And yeah, that's just how it's going to be from now on because I, I never meant for my bag making to be a job uh, and for me to be working at it all the time. If I wanted a job, I would go get a job like here in real life. Um, but I don't want, it started as like a hobby is what I'm trying to say. And uh, with all these pressuring emails and messages that I get, if I feel like people are starting to demand things of me and I don't want to have that in my life. I don't want to feel like I have to make bags to make people happy. I'm going to hop off here. I will see you guys in more videos because I'm not broke yet, but I'm getting there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thankful to everybody who is good friends to me and send me good messages. And for the people who send me bad messages, y'all can just go jump off a bridge. And I don't care. <laughs> Bye guys.